Hi, um, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm Michael Lee from uh, Suprema. I'm a product manager. I've been working at Suprema for uh, now six years. Um, today, I would like to introduce our new product, uh, the new X Station 2. Uh, we'll go through the old aspects of the X Station 2, uh, review through the new features, and discuss what's going to come up next. So, um, the contest I have prepared today is going to be a simple introduction explanation on the X Station 2. Um, as you may know, the X Station 2 has a model with a QR sensor, a uh, QR model, a barcode model. And um, so I'm going to discuss uh, how the QR and barcodes is going to be uh, implemented in Biostar 2. Then I'll do a quick demonstration to show you how it works. Uh, first, um, this is the X Station 2. Uh, it's a versatile uh, terminal that where it can read RFID, um, Suprema's new mobile uh, access cards, and also QR barcodes. So uh, this is our one of our strengths that we uh, assume that will be a big part of the sales in X Station 2. So if I go through the first um, VX Station 2, I'll just explain the simple details. First, it supports multiple credentials, including QR barcode. This means it supports um, the existing uh, the simple ID and PIN, RFID, uh, mobile access cards, and even fingerprint if you connect a fingerprint device as a slave device. I'll explain this about, uh, more about later. Um, it has a 4-inch LCD. It supports POE. It also has a camera, so you can leave image logs for specific events. Um, also, it's uh, outdoor installation supported by IP65. So as we have introduced, it is very versatile and it has many roles to be done as a access control or time attendance terminal. Um, the capacity, you'll be already familiar. This is now coming our standard uh, 50, uh, sorry, 500,000 user and cards. The card accounting will include the QR barcodes. This will be explained later too. Um, it also supports fingerprints, but as um, mentioned earlier, it needs to have a fingerprint device connected as a slave device since this version of X Station 2 does not have any uh, fingerprint extension. Um, text logs, image logs, uh, same as usual, 5 million, 50,000. Um, next, I would like to go early and explain that uh, we're willing to increase the versatility of X Station 2. And before we go through any details in QR barcode, which will be the most um, exciting part of this device, uh, I'd like to let you know we're um, planning for a new device, which is an X Station 2 with a fingerprint model. So this will be the uh, same concept of the Face Station F2, having our own sensor connected to the bottom. Um, the next is that we're planning to actually um, plant the Biostar 2 mobile app inside X Station 2, so you can access your Biostar 2 server without having um, to enable the cloud using an actual mobile app. So this will help to do very simple operations, such as just locking a door, uh, maybe enrolling a user directly from the device that will be synchronized to the Biostar 2 server. Next will be, sorry, um, the next will be that we're going to add some more various QR code reading options. Um, this will be explained in the next chapter uh, when I um, introduce you how we have implemented uh, the QR codes into Biostar 2. Okay, for the next chapter, uh, I'm going to explain how the QR code has been implemented in the Biostar 2 system and also the path that we have prepared. So the QR code in Biostar 2 system, we have three ways of doing it. So we have allowed to use existing QR codes or barcodes. Uh, we have a separate menu where we can actually issue the QR code uh, from Biostar 2 to the user's emails directly. The third will be about using it um, as, like a Q, as a QR authentication with a third party uh, control panel. So uh, if I start with the first, um, so the Biostar 2 provides like uh, a credential, we, we call it QR, just QR, and this is where you can uh, enter the actual content of the QR code. So this is a mainly focused to support the QR codes that have been already issued through a different system, but has been already being used. Um, 
since it has to work like a car from our side, we do have some limitations. Um, the QR code, the string that, in, uh, that holds inside the uh, QR code, uh, the maximum length will be 32 characters. Um, and, and it has to be only uh, printable ASCII characters. Uh, we are thinking of maybe adding uh, a whole different uh, type of way supporting maybe Unicodes. Um, we are designing it, and once we get any details that can be shared, you know, right away. The next will be um, in the issuing the QR codes directly from Biostar 2. So we call this the Biostar 2 QR, and it's, it follows uh, the structure of uh, one of our smart card structures. So um, it's not encrypted, but it's really hard to just figure out what's inside. Um, so we create this uh, card ID inside Biostar 2, then the Biostar 2 will create a QR code image and send it to the user's email directly. You just need to have the settings done for the SMTP server. Um, this is more close to uh, a daily basis usage. Um, you can use your smartphone because it will send you the QR code directly to your smartphone. You can um, store the image on your side, you can use it. Maybe you can print it also on a badge or maybe on a temporary um, access, let's say, uh, license, and then you can use it right away from there. The third part will be um, using the X Station 2 uh, with a third party controller. Um, yes, it can be done. Things will be sent out through uh, Wigan or RS-45, but for now, it's really focused on the Firestar 2 QR codes. Um, actually, the, um, just the QR mode that we support for existing QR codes are, are not that ready for being used as a card and then sent the uh, data through the uh, third-party uh, controller. I'll explain why. <clears throat> Since we adopted just to read as printable ASCII codes, it will be sending out exactly what it reads. So even though you created a QR code as 1234, it's actually an ASCII and it's a very eight digit ASCII a hexadecimal number. If you translate this into decimal on the left, sorry, on the right, then it will be a totally different number that you have actually uh, intend to use. So this is the limitation now, but definitely we are going to add modes where it only reads QR codes in decimals, hexadecimals. Uh, we're going to have an option to um, where you can select if the QR code has been encoded using base64, which is kind of common uh, technique that will be to uh, make it complicated while the uh, QR code is actually quite simple. Um, well, this is the QR that I've explained. The next will be using the QR codes issued from Biostar 2. This, you will not have any problems because at the beginning, we only allow numbers. So if you issue a Biostar 2 QR as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you'll get the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on weekend or RS45. Um, as you can see, we don't allow characters to use, also actually um, special characters, um, alphabets to be used in the Biostar 2 QR, so you'll not be able to issue it, so there's actually going to be no output here. So um, this is the basic in, um, explanation on what's the extension 2 and which path it's going. Um, the next will be to do a demonstration. Um, let's look at the device screen first. So you'll see this is the Xstation 2. Um, you, you'll see there's a difference, small difference in the icons because um, the Xstation 2 actually has a model with the QR, but also has a model without the QR, just a um, card terminal with an LCD screen. Um, I won't go into the details. Um, I just want to let you know, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to uh, issue a QR code through Biostar 2, you need to have the SMTP settings done here. So if you have your own SMTP server, uh, you can put in the credentials here, so just uh, put any name, maybe if you need, you can put a description, address, port, credentials, security type, and definitely you will also have, always have to put on the sender. 
Um, so, and then from here, you can use it for uh, the visual face mobile enrollment, but today we're gonna use it for the QR. So just click simply to QR. You can input the title of the email that the user will uh, receive. You can put in your company name and contact. So if you go to the user um, clean, I will add, there's all about me with my email address. And I can see on the right, you'll see the new credential type as QR and barcode. So if you see here, you'll be able to see just normal QR barcode or a BioStar 2 QR. So this part, if we go first, so since this is a um, menu, a credential type to uh, um, use the already issued QR codes or barcodes, we do not provide any scan methods because it really doesn't make sense to actually use the QR uh, to enroll, to actually scan the QR to enroll it. So we just we can just put it in here, but differently, um, BioStar 2, it, doesn't, it didn't allow any characters, but as I said, it allows printable ASCII characters. So uh, you can see here, I've already made a QR code as uh, a capital A123. I will enroll this, and on the bottom, you'll see a new QR barcode added, having an ID of A123. So I'll just apply this, and this means through the extension to my um, credentials has been sent. So you see here, there's this QR code. And you'll see that I got authenticated. So this is just a simple uh, explanation, but it can be on any kind of like hospitals having risk with QR codes or barcodes, um, any other credentials already being used with a QR code, you can just simply um, enroll it, not on one single at a time, but maybe you can use the CSV uh, import to add all the credentials at once. Um, the next sample that I would like to show is you to how the buyer star to QR code is used. So you can issue from here, you can change the type to buy star to QR code. The card ID will be generated randomly, but um, you can also still use by entering uh, manually. Uh, for this time, I'll just use the random number. So if you're going to issue from the buy star to actually the card ID should be random. Or if you have any needs, then you can just put it as the ID you want. So this time I'll just use it as random. Now you can see I have two types of barcodes. This is the normal, this is just by star to QR. Now if we So um, if I click apply from here, you'll see it's created. It's going to show a new QR code has been sent via email. So I put in my email, um, I will show you the screen, but um, I'll actually create one more user, Willis. So you can check your email on your side. Wait, wait. So I take that com. Um, am I correct? I believe I am. Um, and then I will add. So if I was correct, uh, Willis, you'll be able to receive a QR code uh, through email. So if you have time later, you can check or you can check now. Um, what I will do is I will um, check my uh, email from here. As you can see from here, um, it has arrived um, 3.26 p.m. Yep, 27 minutes past three. So um, you can see it has arrived. What I will do is I'll download this image from my smartphone and do an authentication. Access granted. 
So you can use it from your smartphone. You can use it as a printed uh, QR code. Uh, let's see. Um, so I've, I've been actually, I've mentioned about the camera. So what I would do is I'll uh, enable the image log feature. Let me show you that it just works. Oh, it was actually already there. So what I would do is and you can have it on a larger screen. So as we mentioned, it is quite versatile. So um, this is basically um, the very uh, features that I've wanted to show. Um, in all, after, I believe, in all of our devices, it's just going to be there all the time. Okay. All right. Uh, well, before any, um, yeah, I'll, I'll answer some questions. Um, yes, um, the, the, it's quite dense. Um, actually, we're um, adjusting the size. So uh, if you just wait a few, a couple of weeks, then we will maybe have a better version. Um, the second question is um, the byte order of the QR data. It's it's not there yet, but it's coming. We're we're going to separate this byte order uh, that follows the card byte order. So we're going to separate it to have it uh, one byte order option for the card and another for the uh, QR code, so it doesn't really have any impact on each other. So yes, we 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 actually have. I, I believe it was you, Willis, that we really received that um, there was a site using the cards in LSB that had effect on the uh, X Station Two. So yes, we're definitely going to change the structure on that. Uh, so there's another question: Any plans to support user-defined encryption method AUS 256 with their own key, for example? Uh, yeah, there is a plan, but this is a bit behind of what we have planned earlier. So um, as I said, we're going to enhance, um, sorry, make more options for reading QR codes. After that is then adopting the uh, encryption keys. So uh, even though using with um, uh, QR codes, um, the data inside will remain safe. It is on the roadmap. Um, to be honest, it's hard to say when at this moment, but um, we'll be able to answer it uh, once we release the first enhancement of the X Station 2 during the third quarter. Today, we shared a very quick um, introductions and some Q and A's and demonstrations. Um, afterwards, I, I believe we will have much more time to share some details. Uh, once again, um, I would really like to um, thank you for joining this session and. Uh, I had a very great time, um, so thanks for listening, um, and I'll see you again.